Hello everyone, this is Ishan Shah and welcome to Z Interactive. In today's class, we will learn how we can fold some part of the garments. Like, suppose we want to fold the collar or we want to fold the sleeve. So let's see how it works. Now, how I made the collar is quite simple. What I did was that I just created this uh, simple uh, garment part, okay, a piece that I attached over here. Okay, and at the back of my shirt. And then I created the top part of the collar. And later on, what I did was that I right clicked over here and I used the flip normal. The reason I use the flip normal and not the flip horizontal, because if you will do flip horizontal, it will horizontally flip like this, which is not right. So the reason I have to flip it, because once you will fold this, the non-color part which is the actual part okay will fold and it will start showing and the part which is gray area the one that you can see right now here will be under the white part so that's what we want right now now how folding actually works on the top in the 3d window you have fold arrangement click on the fold arrangement and from where you want the fold to appear you can click that seam, like suppose here. It works with the seam line or internal lines. So right now we are using seam line and then we will use the internal line. So once I will click it here, it will show me some options over here. Fold strength, okay, uh, fold angle. So as I will change the fold angle, okay, so you can see it is changing here as well. So I will just fold it like in this way. And after that, fold strength how much pressure i want to apply here so that it will fold and will not return to its position uh, back so right now it is five so i will keep it five for now and then we will see how at uh, how it actually works so now once we are done i can simulate it and you can see it is folded and I will move it out here and you can see that it's quite uh, soft, uh, like a quite soft fold. So when I moved it, it went back to its uh, like position back because the fold strength was not strong. Okay. So if I will select this, fold it again. Okay. First, let's make this zero. Okay, and then let's move it up all the way, reset it, and then I will move it down. I don't think it makes any difference, but I just, I'm in a habit of doing this to avoid any errors. Now the fold, uh, fold strength, I will increase it. Okay, as it is done, I can simulate it. Oops the bug error let's uh, undo that okay usually that happens with me i don't know what's the reason simulate again okay now it's fine so now as you can see it's quite stiff if i move it stays as it is and it doesn't move back to its position okay now one thing i can do here is is that Let's undo it. So it goes back to where it was before. Okay. And before applying the fold over here, let's take a, a seam taping and apply seam taping on this side. Okay. And as well, we can apply one on the bottom side, like the, uh, the bottom side here. Now, if I will fold it, so what will happen, this part will quite become, uh, you can say stiff. So once I have folded here, I can take the seam, 
and then the preset I will use here is the uh, reinforcements under color for both of them. It will reinforce it and it will keep it uh, folded. Okay, instead of moving it a lot. Okay, uh, I think I have to change the folding angle, uh, sorry, the folding strength again. This was quite reset it. Oops. Let's move it back here. Let's, do, uh, let's undo this first. Okay. Now I will change this. Made it 100. Let's see if it works. Okay. So now you can see quite stiff there, but let's keep on going uh, back to the position. Now here, what I can do to avoid this, to avoid this, let's uh, go to the tacking. Okay. Uh, and I will choose the line tack, tack this part. Start from here, I guess. Okay, do this part. And then simulate it. This will keep it stiff and stick over, like st stuck over there. And will not allow it to move. Later on, you can decide right uh, when you want it to move or like uh, keep it or move it. It's totally up to you later on. Okay, so this is one way of doing that. And one more thing we can do here is that we can take the seam, the one that we applied here on the bottom, and remove this one. Here, this uh, the tack line here. It's quite uh, ugly, but you can make it like straight. So, like that's the reason uh, I have like a very weird uh, line over here. Otherwise, you can make it uh, look nicer. So you will not have that sort of an issue here. Okay. So uh, actually, I just removed the seam. That's why it's things got reset it here. Okay, so I hope this is clear now. Now, next thing, if you want to fold the uh, sleeves, okay, so what uh, you will do is that you can take your edit pattern tool, select this line on the bottom, right click on it, offset internal line and you can start moving the distance make sure you you're extended on otherwise if you will keep it off you will have uh, you like the line will not be extended it will be the same size as you started with but i usually keep it extended maybe two or three okay that's that's it now once you have created these internal lines next what we can do is that Select any one of these internal lines. Okay, just like this one. The edit pattern tool and take this fold arrangement. Okay, click on the line and fold it and you can see how it is folded. And keep it in this way. And if I have a simulated, you can see how it goes or how it folds. Okay. Now, next, what you can do is that if you want to fold more, take the folding again, click on the other folding line, and fold this one 
the other side. Oops. Something like this. Okay. And then arrange them, put them inside, outside, the way you want it to be. This is how you can make a folding actual uh, garments. Okay. So I hope you have got the idea of the folding here. And uh, if you have liked my video and uh, you have enjoyed it, so please, uh, if you have not subscribed to my channel yet, please subscribe to my channel and also hit the bell icon. To support my channel, uh, please watch my videos online and do not download them. Because if you will download them, I will not get any benefit out of it, which will demotivate me and I will then get demotivated and I won't be able to make further videos so please champion my channel and like them if you find them useful so take care guys stay safe stay healthy and keep learning on Z Interactive your own training institute if you're enjoying this series and want to binge watch the whole course without waiting for next lesson then join my Z Interactive early bird membership plan once you are an active member, you will be able to binge watch all the courses without waiting for lessons to get published. Moreover, you can support my channel by joining Z Interactive Friends membership plan. You will get a lot of perks with that also. 